do look well. Uh, I'm not that well, really. Right. What's the matter? Hangover. <laughs> Cheers. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> Just like those times. It has been a long time. Yes. I told you a few other day. Good God, why? <laughs> why? Well... It's nice to look back sometimes, isn't it? Absolutely. And cut there. Okay, very nice. Good, so now what we're going to work on is uniting through the text. So we remember that units are the constituent blocks which make up the narrative arc from the start to the finish of the scene. So if I give you a script each here, and you're going to work together on this as a pair of working out and mark down where the different units occur, remembering when a new unit shifts, which is a new topic of conversation, a major shift in emotional energy for a character, okay? So if you go through together and you find out the units, mark them down and then we can work from there. So guys, just run me through, how many units did you find in total in the script? We found that there was about four, uh, four units where the mood changes slightly. Okay, and just run, run by me where those um, unit changes right. are. So, the earlier part, um, the beginning, we felt that there was the awkward tension area, and then it transitions to a more comic relief evasion of um, what the purpose of the scene was, and then... Uh, it does go back to a uh, with a more opening up situation mm -hmm. with the memory, and then it goes on to a more mysterious element where uh, she mentions what she thought of me the other day, and then yeah. it startles me at that point. So the unit changes after she says, "I thought of you the other day," and you say, "Good God." Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. Great. So when we're titling units, we must make sure that we always mm -hmm. are titling the units properly. Yeah. So you, you've titled this one as Opening Up, mm -hmm. and that's because they start talking about the past and yeah. stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So we could maybe change this. I think it's more about, le it's less about opening up, and more about um, nostalgic reflection, or okay. for you, I think it's maybe an attempt to um, reconnect, mm -hmm. an attempt at reconnection rather than opening up, um, A, it doesn't involve the other person right. and seems a bit mm -hmm. vague to me. Same mm -hmm. with mystery. So what we need to do with units is, you, when we're titling the units, it's great mm -hmm. because we're finding the journey within the scene of how it, how it changes, but we must make sure that we are not being vague. Because if we're vague in anything that we do on screen, then that really comes across. Whereas if we start mm -hmm. saying that that's, uh, that unit is about an attempt at reconnection, Right. I argue that's easier for you to inhabit and then play mm -hmm. than say this unit is about opening up. Mm -hmm. And you're like, right. okay, I'm, yeah. I'm opening up, but you opening up to who or to what or how or where. Whereas if it's an attempt at reconnection, mm -hmm. knowing what we know about mm -hmm. your characters and the history that they have together, it makes more sense. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So when let's go back through the units from the top mm -hmm. and find ones rather than awkward tension. Mm -hmm. What could that be? That's more right. specific to the both the people's individuals, but also as uh, uh, as a pair who have a previous history together. Okay. Nice. So I think you've got a really good flow there with the units. What's the last one that you found? Well, we changed it from mystery to where the armor comes down. And why is that, do you think? Um, you gotta... It's the feeling that uh, now she 
she's open, okay, mm -hmm. she's assume I thought about you, so it's the mm -hmm. moment that she, she's more open, take the mask. Yes. So like the reconnection has been kind of successful here. And they're yes. both more comfortable in each other's company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we go from, let's see the first page again. Yeah. So we go from um, hiding your fears yeah. through to, right to the armor comes down. So that's the yeah. journey that you have to get. Yeah. That's the journey that you've got to find in this page and a half. Mm -hmm. So you've broken it down to four units, mm -hmm. but now we should try and break it down even further. Because we have to be as specific as possible, and it's about finding what you want, which is your objective, and the different tactics that you can use in right. order to get what you want. So if we work out the beats within these units, mm -hmm. those small character shifts, where do you think they are for you? I mean, Pinter, Harold Pinter, he writes them down mm -hmm. for you, like the Pinter pause is very famous, so he'll write down specific stage directions and uh, pauses and silences which help you. Um, but where do you think they are if you look through the script now for your characters? Those distinct um, beats. Third line. All um, right. Essentially what I'm thinking is he's lying. Right, so he's evading her. Yes, because there's about hiding fears and stuff. Yeah. If that's what this unit is about for you, mm -hmm. then that sentence, if you think that really sticks out as a particular beat, then maybe you would try it that you're lying. Right. That you are covering something up, that you are hiding something. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Because that's in line with the unit, isn't right, it? Yeah. That, kind, that, um, that choice there on that beat, on that phrase. Yeah. How about you, Fernanda? I think maybe the same when she say, I'm fine. Yes. Just like the old times, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think when um, when you say I'm fine, is that the truth or not? No. It's absolutely not the it's truth. Absolutely not. Okay, and why is she not fine? Do you think? Because she she's still like the old times, and those times she doesn't was. Does she still like him? Do you think? It, maybe. So she's still s sad about... <laughs> yeah, I think she still has yeah. some connection. Lovely. So automatically here, when we're starting to think about beats, we're also looking at what's underneath the text, which again mm -hmm. is really important for screen. Mm -hmm. We can't take everything as, as, as literal, as is written. Oh, it's angry here. Oh, it's sad. Oh, this means that, obviously. Mm -hmm. A really good exercise is to flip it on its head and go, okay, what's the opposite? Do Play the opposite. Even though you're saying, I'm fine, play the, have the feeling of completely the opposite. Mm -hmm. Even if you go back to genuinely saying, I'm fine, yeah, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. You should always explore what's underneath that because it will give your performance even more depth. Mm -hmm. And I think that is the right choice, especially with the history of these two characters. So... Now what we want to do is we go through this text mm -hmm. and you find the beats that are really specific, that are in conjunction with your units, mm -hmm. how you title the units and what you want from the scene. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then after we've done those, we'll have a little look at playing it again and see what's changed and what's different mm -hmm. now that you're more specific and detailed. Well, how are you? All right. You look well. Well, I'm not that well, really. Why? What's the matter? Hangover. <laughs> Cheers. How are you? I'm fine. Just like those times. Has been a, a long time. Yes. I thought of you the other day. Good God, why? 
Why? Ah, well, it's nice to think back sometimes, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm. Absolutely. <laughs>